Well, students at a school known for fights and fires are trying to change that negative image. Yesterday, police and firefighters were at Southwest Early College campus again. Beth Bond reports. Cynthia, last month I received a stack of 11 letters, handwritten by students eager to tell a very different story about what happens inside the walls of Southwest Early College campus. Tylon writes about a winning basketball team, Erica, a productive student council, and John St. Paul, the chance to earn college credit. Last year at the College Algebra, which I had dual credit score for uh, college and high school. That's where this straight-A student is trying to keep his focus, but it's not easy. Things have changed, she says, since when he enrolled in the school's first-ever freshman class. It was great. I loved it, but now, I don't know. Just yesterday, fires ripped him out of math, French, and then physics. There was smoke everywhere. It smelled like smoke in the second floor. And then we had to be in the auditorium. There was so many fights. Like, uh, it was crazy. Behavior problems ended school early. Like in the hallways, I don't feel safe like the people. Disrespectful, pushing, fighting, shoving. But that fear isn't what will define his teenage years. Instead, it's the third place win in last year's geometry contest and his goal to graduate college. Okay. <laughs> like the others who wrote me, St. Paul is angry about the continual negative news about his school. Like the first two years, no, we were like, it was a good school, but nobody came to report on it. And now, and now they just come and just report on the bad stuff. The good, he says, is just as important. These letters also strongly suggest this year's problems were not caused by adding in students from Westport High School. Instead, students wrote about a chaotic blend of students from a number of schools, some of which were not happy about the change. Beth Vaughn, NBC Action News.